Welcome to night 103 of History Bedtime Stories in our pajamas in bed. And tonight I have incredibly exciting news. The wonderful people at Buddy's Pizza have come on board to sponsor the next month of History Bedtime Stories. And not only are we thrilled to welcome them to the Detroit History family, it happens to be Buddy's Pizza's birthday. So we thought night 103, first night of Buddy's Pizza sponsoring bedtime stories, we gotta talk about the history of Buddy's. Now, Buddy's starts in the 1930s here in the city of Detroit. And in the 1930s, America was in prohibition. Under the Volstead Act, it had become illegal to manufacture, sell, or, or transport alcohol for intoxicating purposes in the United States of America. But if you did, if alcohol was available at your establishment or if a cold beer was still being served in your saloon, tavern, restaurant, or bar, you are now operating as a speakeasy or a blind pig. And that's exactly how Buddies got its start. At the height of Prohibition, they were operating as a blind pig here on the east side of Detroit. By 1944, Gus Griera had taken over the business and he'd really transformed Buddy's into more of a tavern. At this point, it was completely legal, prohibition was over, but he's struggling to really find his niche in the market during World War II. By 1946, however, the war is coming to a close and GI is returning home to Detroit from all over the European and Pacific theater are looking for the next new, fun, exciting, wonderful American thing to do with their time and their money. And GIs who'd served in Italy and Sicily start going to Gus and telling him about the fabulous pizza they had had while in Europe. Well, Gus starts thinking about it and an idea is born at Buddy's. It comes to be the Detroit original pizza and their secret harkens back to Detroit being the Motor City. The pizzas were originally cooked in blue metal oil drip trays, the kind that were ubiquitous in Detroit, Hamtramck, and Highland Park post-World War II. They could be bought super cheap. We had them all over town because of the auto industry. And by cooking in these square metal oil pans, pizza got this wonderful, crunchy, edged crust, super melty cheese, and a fluffy base dough that is simply unmatched. Once that Detroit style pizza was born, the line wrapped around the building for people to get in and get a slice of a Buddy's original. As the 50s and 60s and 70s see changes in not only the neighborhood, the economy of Detroit, and really what people were looking for in a night out, Buddy's remains an absolute institution welcoming one and all for a slice of pizza. Ownership changes a couple of times in the 50s and again in the 70s, but the pizza stays the same. There are some additions to the menu. Their antipasta salad with brick cheese is literally the favorite thing in my house. We get it carry out more than we should really admit to. But that cheesy perfect pizza, that wonderful salad, some pasta dishes come on board. And through all of this, they start earning a lot of awards. In the 1970s, the awards really start rolling in. And today, if you visit the original location at Six Mile and Conant here in the east side of Detroit, one full wall exterior of their building is covered in a mural depicting all the awards they've won, from best pizza in Detroit, to best pizza in Michigan, to best pizza in the nation. In the 1980s, the Republican National Convention comes to Cobo Hall, now called the TCF Center here in the city of Detroit, and Buddy's Pizza gets the contract to supply the press corps with all of their food for the entire week. If you want PR, supplying pizza that is so delicious to the entire press corps of the White House, yeah, that'll, that'll get you some PR. Ronald Reagan is nominated and Buddy starts getting national attention. Through the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, Buddy's remained committed to the neighborhoods. They have done every fundraiser there is to do. From sponsoring bands through band aid for the local marching bands and high schools to volleyball teams, basketball teams, football teams, Books for Slices was a program when I was a kid in public school where if you spent your summer reading books, you could turn in those books for slices of pizza or pizza dinners at Buddy's. And today they're carrying on that tradition by helping us 
bring Detroit history to everyone near and far. And if at this point you're like, oh man, I really want a slice of buddies. I want that pepperoni pizza and that wonderful crust and all that cheese. I have got a really cool challenge for you. In the comment section down below, tell us your very favorite pizza topping and tag a friend. If you tag a friend and they tell us their favorite pizza topping, we'll enter both of you in a raffle because we have got four gift cards to give out randomly to four winners for pizza at Buddy's. Wash your hands. Thank you to Buddy's and we'll see you tomorrow night.